hi class sorry um tadi ada ada interrupt sikit okay so i continue eh so this is my okay this is what we get just now so y double prime plus 4 y equal to s square plus 3 is a original equation so what we do next is we will substitute these two and, and this equation into this uh, the original one so y p double prime here is 2 a2 okay plus 4 y okay 4 y eh? not 4 y prime 4 y so means that is the y p yang original tadi so which is a2 x square plus a1 x plus a0 okay and this equation equal to x square plus 3 okay Alright, so then what we do next is open the bracket first. So we have 2 a 2 here plus 4 a 2 x square plus 4 a 1 x plus 4 a 0 equal to x square plus 3. Okay, after that, we rearrange according to the power. So the highest one is x square. So we start first with 4 a 2 x square. Okay, settle. So now we proceed to x plus 4 a 1 x settle. And then we left with another one. Another two here is plus two a two plus four a not. Equation a equal to x square plus three. Okay, then what we do next? We will do the comparison. Okay, so the comparison here. So we start first with the x square. Okay, we do the comparison. Okay, so we start with with x square. Okay, then um, at the left hand side. We have four a two. Okay, we have four a two, and then at the right hand side we have one. Okay, we have one. We just take it the numbers, eh? Okay, so your a two here is one over four. All right. Okay, so this is your a two. So next we do it for x. Okay, we do it for x. So at the left hand side we have four a one. At the right hand side, we doesn't have any x, so means that your a one equal to zero, and the last one is without x, which is x power zero. So for x power zero here, we have two a two plus four a naught, and this equation equal to three. So two a two. Just now we already have a two here, so two one over four plus four a naught equal to three. Therefore, your a naught is equal to okay. This is half three minus half. A3 minus half and then divide by 4 so you have 5 over 8 okay so this is the a naught 5 over 8 a1 0 a2 is 1 over 4 so this is step number 3 so step number 4 okay you need to substitute into the general equation yh so just now your yh is a cos 2x plus b sine 2x k plus Okay, your yp je, yp, what is your yp just now, a2 square, so your a2 is 1 over 4, your a1, 0, so they have no a1, plus a0, what is your a0, your a0 is 5 over 8, so this is the answer, this is the general solution, so if the question just find, just ask you to find the general solution, so you may stop here, okay, you boleh stop kat sini je, but, now, this question is regarding the initial value problem. So, you need to find A and B. Okay, means that they have extra, like extra steps. So, step number 5. So, you have just now, you have an initial condition given is Y0 equal to half and Y prime 0 equal to 4. Okay, you, you can get it from the question. Eh? Yang ni akan diberi dalam soalan. So, what we do next is... Okay, we choose or we we do it for the first initial condition. Okay, what we do next? We will substitute. Okay, inside here, inside the bracket here is a value for zero. I said zero. The value for x. Okay, this is value for x. So what we do? You will substitute x equal to zero into your solution here. Okay, this is your equation. Okay, this is your equation or this is your solution. So x here is 0. So, what we do? You just substitute x with 0. So, kat sini ada a cos to x. So, you have a. Okay. Cos to x is equal to 1 eh. Okay. Sin to x. Sin x. Uh, sorry. Sin cos to x mean after you substitute 0 means cos 0. So, cos 0 is equal to 1 and sin 0 is equal to 0. So, you have a here. Okay. You ada a lah kat sini. 
and then B dah tak ada sebab ni kosong this one is 0 so 0 times B is 0 right so you have A okay, plus 1 over 4 0 habislah kosong kan so then 5 over A and this equation is equal to 1 over 2 and then what is your A okay, 1 over 2 minus 5 over 8 therefore you should get your A here is apa ni negatif 1 over A Okay, I'm, I'm just using, I mean, I just take it the value from the textbook. Okay, you can calculate by yourself. Okay, to check whether my, my, my answer is correct or not. Okay, because I'm just took it from the textbook. So, you already get your A. So, another one, you need to find out your B. How to get your B? Okay, you can see that this one, we will use the second initial condition. So, you can see that your second initial condition is Y prime. This is Y. So, you need to differentiate first your y. So, a cos 2x. Okay, dapat apa? Differentiate cos dapat apa? Sin cos cos ni je kan? Differentiate cos akan dapat sin. So, you have 2a sin 2x. And then, um, minus differentiate sin akan dapat negative cos. So, minus 2b cos 2x. And then plus this one 2 in front 1 over 2x okay okay I don't want to explain on how you get this you may I mean you should know how to get this okay because it's a simple differentiation you, you suppose you need to know lah how to differentiate sine cos and so on so this is your y prime so then what we do next is you do it the same thing like this one so you just substitute at 0 into this equation so y prime 0 so at 0 here sine 0 so habis cos 0 so we have 2b and 1 over 2x so means habis so this equation is equal to 4 okay and then therefore your b is equal to 2 okay alright so you already get both value a and b so the next the last one is to write back your answer so it's no longer a and b it's not it's have a value so your a now is negative 1 over 8 cos 2x and then your b now is 2 sine 2x and then just write down again the equation that you have yp 1 over 4x squared plus 5 over 8 okay all right so this is how we solve the undetermined coefficient for initial value problem. Okay, alright, so um, we finish, we settle on the first method which is undetermined coefficient and then we have another one which is variation of parameter and for that I will continue in the next video for the next class. Okay, alright.